reaction or response to the Vishwarupa Darshana can be seen or can be divided into three phases. Phase number one, it's a lot of fun. Enthusiasm, curiosity, and what is that? A lot of uh, uh, eagerness. He's able to see the glory. He's able to understand how huge, colossal the whole form is. And that vismaya, vismaya means awe, the awe and the enthusiasm, a little bit of intrigue, curiosity gives way to the next phase of Arjuna's response, which is what? Fear. <laughs> Fear. Because when you look too closely, then you can count the teeth. Shark. What is that movie? Jaws. <laughs> That's how. And then it just comes out of the water. And shark means half the blessed animal is teeth, the other half is stomach. Okay. <laughs> this is what uh, shark. So like this. And also sharks have four rows of teeth. And each one uh, very sharp and like a saw, serrated. And so all that is going to come. And Arjuna naturally, because he got the blessing of what is that called? Divya Chakshu. To be able to see what cannot really be objectified as a grace from Bhagavan, as a boon from Bhagavan, he got this Divya Chakshu. But then, what is that? He was not able to make use of it at all, because what, what did he really need? He needed Jnana Chakshu to not be afraid. Divya Chakshu to be able to see, but Jnana Chakshu to not be afraid. Dvaitadhi Bhayam Bhavati, and this Bhaya and the cause of it and how the uh, bhaya takes place when there is dvaita is a primal what is that uh, tune or the tone the primal message of this chapter is whenever there is duality what is there? fear in a way the statement from the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, Dvaita Dhi Bhayam Bhavati is, uh, seems innocent enough. Like, oh, you know, I don't know if, I mean, just because there is something other than me, that doesn't mean I'm afraid. It could be something cute like a puppy. Puppy is other than me and it's bouncing around, but I'm not afraid. So we have to add, Dvaita means other than me and of unknown stature, unknown form. If I know it is small, then I am not afraid. But if I don't know that, then what? I am definitely frightened. So, I told you up till verse 22, we have the first, the first level of Arjuna's response from 15 to 22, yesterday I said. And then from 23 onwards, what happens? From 23 onwards, we have the fear-based response, Arjuna's response from the standpoint of his own fear. Then 23 to uh, 31 is the fear-based response. 32 to 34 or thereabouts uh, is, uh, is the Lord declaring himself to be the cause of fear for all the, the people who have not followed dharma. And he just says, I am time, I am the swallower of everything. Then after that, 36 to uh, 45 is the third phase of Arjuna's response from the standpoint of becoming a devotee. He becomes a devotee. Because when you are frightened, what else to do? 
take recourse to bhakti this is this is how the cha- this is how the chapters lay out is and we have done up to verse 22 let us now see uh, a little bit further 22 itself he was he was saying what was he saying that uh, 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 22 itself he says vismitaha chaiva sarve these siddhas uh, marutas rudras adityas vasus group of people called sadhyas ushmapaha ushmapaha means the, the heat drinkers they are one of the um, pitruganas ancestral deities and if you give them cold food they get upset it has to be hot hot even tarpanam has to be hot hot food then they are happy so these are called ushmapaha and um, they they are uh, credited with uh, uh, some kinds of blessing powers and also what do they do they they have become minions of lord yama so they help lord yama in perhaps harvesting the jeevas i don't know what they do we'll have to ask them sometime so these are ushmapas maruts there are seven groups of seven so 49 is correct and by some reckoning there is 27 by some other reckoning there is so many other numbers but doesn't matter sadhyas are also a group of devatas who fulfill wishes and so like this all of them sarve namasyanti namasyanti siddha sanghaha we saw that and then um, so then uh, further the description co- continues from verse 23 rupam mahatte bahu vaktra netram maha baho bahu maha baho bahu bahu rupadam bahudaram bahudam strakaralam दृष्ट्वा लोका प्रव्यथितस्तथाहम् दृष्ट्वा लोका प्रव्यथिताः सर्वाहम् दृष्ट्वा लोकाः प्रव्यथिताः तथा अहम् ओके सो समवेयर एल्स ही हैड सेड प्रव्यथिताः एंड दैट वाज जस्ट द पीपल प्रव्यथिता या इन 20 ही सेड लोकत्रयम् प्रव्यथितम् ऑल द थ्री वर्ल्ड्स आर प्रव्यथिता he was still a journalist at that time covering some <laughs> inferno <laughs> so the journalist is saying yes people are running helter skelter or a big storm or a tornado and then oh no it is coming <laughs> so here lokaha sarve pravyathitaha and then he adds tatha cha aham i am also pravyathitaha i am also afflicted he adds and so this is the uh, 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 this is the uh, this is the problem here with him because um, he is very much affected very badly affected why the reason is given here rupam mahat mahat te te rupam mahat your your uh, your form is huge and here mahabaho who does it refer to krishna not arjuna usually krishna calls arjuna mahabaho but here it is the the script is flipped here arjuna is calling krishna hey mahabaho oh krishna the mighty armed you what is happening you know so many mouths so many eyes so many tummies and then what else so many rows of canine teeth damstra karala K9 teeth are frightening you know <laughs> we also have K9 but they are hidden okay so they are not you know they are not uh, usually visible but imagine if you didn't have molars if you didn't have incisors if you didn't have premolars if you had only what K9 and you gave a smile okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> so <laughs> that smile would be what terrifying naturally totally terrifying 
it's uh, you know it's like those what is there these books used to come vampire diaries so it's like that a vampire so these some kind of ghoulish creatures and so here he says i can count so many teeth rows and rows of what kind of teeth canine teeth there is that canine teeth drishtva lokaha pravyathitah they are and these all these these uh, canine teeth they are just what bahudamshtra karalam they are all outside okay and then so seeing them because you have, you uh, your mouth is the lips are pulled back in a snarl the snarling face uh, you know like a, a a a a dog that is angry what does it do it just lifts it will make that sound and it will lift the upper lip up yeah like that and so <laughs> so then that is very terrifying to look at especially if everything is canine 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 everywhere and so there is nothing to uh, nothing to do here and so other than to just have just uh, give to give way to the fear and so therefore all of them are frightened nabhas prishantam deepamane kavarnam व्यातानम दीप्त विशाल नेत्र दृष्ट्वाथितांतरात्मांदाश विष्णु ते दिशो न जाने न लभे च शर्म प्रसीद देश जगन्निवास अमी चवां धृतराष्ट्र पुत्र सर्वे सहैवावनिपाल so that form is touching the what the sky it is touching all the way up to the where you can't even see your head i can't even look at it is all the way up there and then what then what happened adiptam uh, and then it is blazing aneka varnam aneka varnam and then it is you know, the, the the form is touching the heavens 
and then it is aneka varnam means many many forms vyata vyata ananam means open mouthed mouth is wide open vyata ananam deepta vishala netram your eyes are like laser beams huge laser beams going off and on <laughs> and so <laughs> for special effects and so that is very frightening and uh, so the, the, you see this huge thing and suddenly that that being with red red eyes is looking at you oh my god so this is very very frightening and then further and then what drishtva hitvam pravyathitantaratma antaratma means the antakarana is just a complete mess and i am just so frightened i don't know whether i'm going or coming what am i doing here and why did i ask for this boon even to think that i do not have the spare time i am so frightened and then uh, and then he says that uh, uh, i don't have uh, what is that drisht dhritim navindami where has my courage departed i seem to have lost courage where has it gone how can i find it back where has this courage gone please help me lost and found is there any lost and found in this vishvarupa maybe in the lost and found bin my courage might be sitting there <laughs> please find out for me where it is and then um, then he says dhritim uh, navindami and then what shamam shamam he vishnu vishnu is literally vishnu all pervasive the see the, the wish means to enter wish vishati is to enter that there is a pratyaya a suffix called ishnuch and the, when you put that it means always and unfailingly means unchangingly so vishnu who means always what all pervasive that who is always all pervasive never uh, small pervasive so suddenly it doesn't become very small always all pervasive so this vishnu hey vishnu oh you who is everywhere uh, what happened to my courage i don't know i can't find it seems to have lost courage and shamam shamam means my uh, uh, what is that calm calmness is shama my composure my my sense of being how i generally am i'm able to self soothe generally uh, you know if something frightens me uh, it's almost like arjuna is saying i'm I, i'm able to go there there yes theek ho jaoge it's okay you will be all right so this is called what is called what is called self soothe everybody does that one is in a difficult situation one sees something frightening one has a difficult interaction one is feeling funny and then you just tell yourself even though you may not go through the motions like this but inwardly you will be saying no no it's okay it's all right you will be okay don't worry but here he has lost the ability to self soothe no shama is there he is totally at the mercy of this this huge towering form and then further uh, ami mm, indeed the, what is that ami hitva sura sangha vishanti the all the uh, no i seem to have lost the place where is this yeah namasya i should turn the page that will help yeah so damstra karalani chate mukhani drishtva eva kalanala sannibhani your face is like an inferno inferno with teeth okay inferno with rows and rows of what kind of teeth canine teeth yes It, it's a it's a towering inferno your face and your mouth with rows and rows of teeth why do we no need to know this extra trivia we'll see little later it's all going to come the teeth are going to be useful they are not going to be useless and so then drishtva uh, eva when i see this what i what i think of is kalanala sannibhani kala plus anala what is kala space time. okay time yeah and then what is anala fire, fire. so kala anala means what the fire of pralaya 
In the Bible also, it's, uh, there's a big conflagration uh, in the pralaya, except that pralaya is permanent. But here we have, we, for us, pralaya is nothing. Fir se aayega, jayega. That's all. It'll come, it'll go. We are, we are not very worried about pralaya. And so, so here, the kalanala sannibhani, that which is like, uh, which is like the fire of uh, dissolution. Kala sannibhani means like, which is compared to the fire of dissolution. It's a total fire of dissolution. And in this fire of dissolution, what is happening? Uh, I, I find that I just feel lost. I'm looking at this huge inferno, which is your mouth with teeth. And everybody else is also looking here. And all the people are also not knowing what to do. Plus your form includes the whole universe with all the suns, with all the moons. How many suns are there in the universe? Countless. At least Maruts you can count and say 49. How many suns are there? We don't know. So many blazing suns, so many satellites, so many moons, and all of them over there, Disho na jane. I don't know which is east. <laughs> because so many suns rising in different areas at all times. The, the suns of uh, uh, other uh, systems. So we have a solar system, there are other systems like that, with uh, red dwarf, blue dwarf, so they all have names. Kepler 65, like these, the planets also have names. Discovered by which uh, telescope, uh, like this, they have names. And so all these suns and moons and your own brilliance, I don't know if it is day or night. I am disoriented. Disho na jane. I don't know what is going on. Nalabhe sharma, I am no longer happy. Sharma means happy sharman. Declined as sharma. So, happy. <laughs> so, that's the last name. <laughs> sharma means happy. Okay. And so, see, uh, the, so, disho na jane, nalabhe cha sharma. And then he says, better to, better to pray to this whoever it is. Because there is a chance if you pray, at least it will be kind to you. <laughs> Otherwise, it may just eat you up, this funny looking thing. So, Disho na jane, labhe cha sharma, labhe cha sharma, prasida devesha jagat nivasa. Jagat nivasa means in the, 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 the world is an abode for whom? O Lord, O Lord of the world, uh, for whom, in which the world takes ashraya, prasida, please be happy. This is how the Sri Rudram also st starts. Namaste Rudra Manyava Utota Isha Venamaha Namaste Astudhanvani Bahubhyam Utate Namaha Bahubhyam Namaha Your arms look too strong and too big, O oh Lord. Namaha unto them. And it looks like you have a huge bow in your hand. Namaha unto that also. <laughs> because if I look closely, beyond all that effulgence, it looks like this bow is directed at me. <laughs> karma phala. Bow of karma phala. Directed at me. And then you have on your bhuja, on your shoulders, arrows. Extra arrows. Because one is not enough. So much karma. One arrow is never enough. So many arrows are needed. Extra arrows you got in your quiver. And then what? That's why it's called quiver. It's making me quiver. Vahubhya mutate namaha. Yatate ishuhu shivatama babhuva te dhanuhu api. Same thing, Prasida. Shivatama means, let it be the most auspicious thing. For who? Naha. Asmakam. For me. For all of us. Actually, just for me. Go here. Go, go direct it to this fellow who has been a dharmic. Me, please spare. <laughs> go over here. You don't know what this fellow has done. Me, please spare. So when there is something so frightening, what do you do? What is the best thing to do is to neutralize the fear. You just 
surrender. So this prasida means please always be happy with me. Prasida, don't, don't, don't get angry because you already look angry. You already look terrified. And it's almost like if we suddenly met one and actually some uh, astrologer has prophesied that in, in this generation, in our generation, we will meet one extra, what are they called, terrestrial. Somebody from another uh, planet, another form of life. So suddenly if that creature comes, you know, what will we think? You know, it may, it may just be coming to hug us. But we will think it's coming to do akramanam. It's coming to uh, attack. We won't know because anything unknown is a cause of fear. So here also he is just trying to calm this, calm this Bhagavan down. <coughs> then he says that, um, you know, that, that now if he had any doubt, Arjuna, if he had any doubt, who would win this war? It is gone in the next verse. It is gone. Why? He sees the Dhartarashtraha. Who are Dhartarashtraha? Dhritarashtras, Dhritarashtra Putraha. Okay? Kauravaha? No. Everyone is Kaurava actually. So Dhritarashtra Putraha. Somebody told me an alternative Vyutpati for Kaurava. Kauhu iti ravaha yesham te. Meaning who keep fighting cow, cow, cow like this. <laughs> like a kauva. <laughs> so that is, that is what interesting trivia. Mahabharata trivia. So then, Ami Chattva Amdhritarashtrasya Putraha Dhartarashtraha Sarve Sahaiva Eva um, Sahaiva Eva uh, Nipala Sanghaihi Sahaiva Eva Nipala Sanghaihi means other kings, all other kings. Uh, uh, and then Bhishma Drona uh, Suta Putra. Who is Suta Putra? Karna. Yeah. The son of the charioteer who was the unacknowledged uh, Kunti's son. And then Tatha Asau, all of them, Sahas, Saha Asmadiyaihi Api. Asmadiyaihi Api means along with some of our warriors, Yodha Mukhyaihi, important warriors. What are they doing? Uh, let us find out here in the next one. Bhaktrani Te Tvaramana Vishanti. Hurriedly they seem to be entering your mouth. Fast, fast. Why? Because yesterday I told you the mouth has some kind of a uh, vacuum, suction effect. It's an inferno which is also has a sucking effect. Terrible. Even, even difficult to imagine. And so it's that these people are not wanting to enter the mouth. But somehow, despite themselves, they are being, they, they look from the outside as though they cannot wait to rush into the mouth. And later on, the, um, uh, the, when Arjuna, uh, Arjuna will use the metaphor, what is that like, uh, patangaha, uh, what are they called, moths in front of a deepa. When you put a lamp or a candle in a dark outside, what will happen? All the moths are attracted and they commit suicide in the fire. Don't they know that it is sure death? Perhaps, but they cannot resist it. Similarly, these important kings and the Dhartarashtras, the sons of Dhritarashtra and Bhishma, Drona and Karna, all of them along with some people from this side also who, who have perished in the war, they seem to be entering the mouth of the Lord in this Virat Vishwarupa form. They seem to be entering as though they can hardly wait. They can hardly wait at all. They just are able to, uh, they, they can hardly, hardly wait. And what can, what can they do? They just, uh, they, they can't stop themselves. And so they just rush into this like moths to a flame ready to be burnt helplessly and this rushing is the karma phala it's the it's the chakra of karma the wheel of karma that is going round and round and sometimes karma goes fast fast and sometimes karma goes slow sometimes you feel oh nothing is happening and sometimes you feel oh my god so many, so many karmas in one day 
Usually what happens is that when there is punya unfolding, we do not notice. We do not notice it at all because we take it for granted. Yes, this is how it should be. Yay, wonderful. But when papa unfolds, it's like, oh my God, so many papas in one day. Oh no, what has happened? What is going on? That's when it is felt. So here, since they are going to meet their fate, since they, they all their you know kudharmas, all their wrong dharmas of terrorizing the population and the uh, what is that the the being a terrorist atata in. So we saw in the second chapter the definition of the terrorist. So the one who is an arsonist, the one who is a poisoner. The one who takes away uh, 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 another person's uh, wife by force, Draupadi, they did that, and the, who dishonors another person's wife, third one, and the one who uh, the, the one who takes away another person's kshetra daraha. So the the kshetra apaharanam apa uh, takes away another person's kingdom or land, even somebody's house by force. Like this, we saw six uh, criteria. And Duryodhana filled up all of them and even had two, three extra. And so he is definitely Atatayin. And so therefore, they are meeting their fate. They are meeting their fate. Meaning, what this is, even though they did not, they led a life of luxury by tyrannizing everybody, nobody can escape karma phala. So this karma bhala, when it comes, it is coming fast. And even though they want to stop it, they don't want to go into the mouth. They are going, they are seen hurriedly, twara, uh, twaramana, twaramana ha, means hurriedly vishanti. What? Damshra karalani bhayanakani vaktrani. So now the vaktra, vaktra means face and or mouth. Now the face, Vaktra is one. Vaktram. Vaktram, Vaktre, Vaktrani. What is said there? Vaktrani. So that one face became what? Many, many inferno faces with many, many, many rows of canine teeth. Even more frightening. And so all of them are seen entering it fast, 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 fast as though they cannot help it. And then what? Then uh, uh, bhayanakani, very frightening mouth. Kechit, some of them vilagnaha dashanantareshu. What are they? What is happening now? We get we, we, not a very pretty picture. You are forewarned. So they are being masticated by time. They are being chewed up by time. And so if you eat a sticky thing, what happens? It sticks to the teeth. <laughs> Vilagnaha. I told you, I told you, you are already forewarned. Okay, I'm not making this up. I'm just uh, reading what is there. So, kechid vilagnaha. Some of them are stuck to the teeth of the Lord as though he forgot to brush that morning, and then they are they are all stuck. How are they stuck? The shanantareshu. In between the teeth, they are stuck up, and churnitaihi, but without a head. What happened to the head? Churnitaihi uttamangaihi. Uttamanga means the uh, anga, we means part, a, a limb. Uttama means the most important part. What is the most important part of the body? Head, head. head hopefully. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> to say head also, we need what? Head. So, <laughs> so therefore, this, uh, you know, uttamangaihi. By this, uh, uh, you know, by this, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, by this uh, jaws of time. By these jaws of time with rows and rows of sharp serrated edge teeth, they are being masticated and they have lost their head this time literally. And then what? The head is churna. Churna means what in Ayurveda? Powder. Churna is powder. Churnitaihi uttamangaihi, with powdered heads, their body is sticking, their bodies are sticking between the teeth, these frightening teeth of the Lord. Okay, yeah. So, hope everybody will be able to sleep tonight. Yeah. So then, after listening to all this.
So this is where he fi finds, and then he gives the he gives a couple of uh, uh, he gives a couple of uh, what is that called um, upamas. Yatha nadi nam bahavo mudega ha. Samudra meva bhimukha drabanti. Tathatava minara loka viraha. Vishanti vatranya bhivijvalanti. Yatha pradeeptam jvalanam patangaha. Vishanti nashaya samriddha vegaha. Tathaiva nashaya vishanti lokaha. Tavapi vaktrani samriddha vegaha. Lelihya se grasamana samantat. Lokan samagram vada nairjwalat bhi. Tejo bhira purya jagat samagram. Bhasas tavo graf prapatanti vishno. Akhyahime ko bhavanugra rupaha. Namostu te deva vara prasida. Vignyatam ichhami bhavantam adhyam. Nahi prajanami tava pravrittim. First two that we studied, we, we chanted, are uh, little upamas, comparisons. Yatha nadinam bahavah ambu vegaha samudra meva bhibukha dravanti. See the torrential rivers, especially after the rains, we see them flowing with great uh, gusto. And it seems like they are going somewhere. Where are they going? To greet the ocean. Do they need a GPS where the ocean is? They don't. Somehow it is inbuilt in them to just go to the ocean. If there is a hill or a mountain, if they encounter, they will go around it. If there is a block, they will go this way, that way. Somehow they make their way to the ocean. In a way, it is programmed. Similarly, the karma of these people is leading them to your mouth. Just like the torrential uh, flow of the rivers leading them to the ocean and all these people who have done wrong, adharmic people we have to add, then what happens? They, they, all these naraloka viraha, naraloka viraha means in the human uh, uh, loka, in the, in the martya loka, in the human loka they were known as kings, heroes. They were lauded as heroes, but here they are zero. They are not hero at all. They are just, you know, flowing along with all the people because Drona, uh, Drona was was huge. Um, Karna was also huge. Uh, Duryodhana was just so f every. He was the source of fear for everybody. Here they are nobody. Here they are just part of the flow to this uh, to get their karma phala. So, tatha tava, tatha tava vishanti vaktrani abhivijvalanti. And then they enter your flaming conflagration in the form of your mouths. This inferno of your mouths they enter. Now, this is the one I told you earlier. Yatha pradeeptam jvalanam patangaha. Just like the moths enter a lighted flame. Vishanti nashaya, and, and they just fly to their destruction. 
don't they? Alas. They just fly to their destruction. Vishanti means they fly here, not enter. They, they just rush to their destruction. They enter what? Their own destruction. Samruddha Vegaha at full speed. <laughs> they don't even think. They can't think. They're just programmed. And here too, the karma of these people has been programmed by the order that is Bhagavan to receive the karma phala. And what is the karma phala? To enter this inferno like mouth. See, there is no mouth, there is no inferno. This is a this is a mithya. This is a mithya vision to fulfill Arjuna's desire. That's all it is. Mithya means it is it is a this causality is imbued upon this uh, uh, upon this Satchidananda, which is Krishna, which is Ishvara. And that same Satchidananda is Arjuna, but without that causality. Arjuna is what is, you know, identified with the body, mind, sense complex. He is identifying as because, whereas Bhagavan is cause. So the relationship of the jiva and Ishvara, if the jiva doesn't know Ishvara, has to be one of terror. There can be no other relationship. Because why? You know, there are authority issues. This is what happens. Authority issues. And the authority issues means what? Usually the primary caregivers. And then if those authority issues are not resolved, they will always be discomfort with uh, Ishvara. That's why Buddhism has become extremely popular everywhere. Much more than Hinduism. Why? Because they, you don't have to deal with this entity called Ishvara. First of all, there are two problems with Ishvara. One is... Some version of Ishvara is pushed down the throat with a stick by the families, by the cultures, by the countries, by the religions. This is who you have to believe. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. You have to believe this is how it is. Why? Why can't I think? No, that's, that's blasphemy. Like this, so many things. Why should I, even in the Hindu tradition, why should I do this? Because your grandmother did it. <laughs> your great-grandfather did it. Your mother did it. Therefore, you also have to do it. Because they don't know. And they will just say, they, they will just say what they know. They don't know. And until we study the Shastra, we do not know the reason why certain things are done. So this is why sometimes one is put off. That then, along with that, this is like a general reason, along with that is the specific reason of not being able to, you know, overcome the authority issues, mother issues, father issues, become Bhagavan issues. And then to, see, to understand Bhagavan becomes there is a block. Why? Because I see Bhagavan as the ultimate authority uh, figure. And the ultimate authority figure is ultimately terrifying, ultimately intimidating. Because there is this feeling that I am alienated, that I am not loved, that I am challenged or that I am not understood, whatever it is. And all these things we are seeing in this chapter because we are seeing that the karma phala is happening as it is and so this whole thing is showing the uh, discomfort with separating oneself from Bhagavan. The separation causes not just anxiety but fear and misery also. So tatha eva in the same way nashaya vishanti lokaha tavapi vaktrani samriddha vegaha. Likewise the people of, of, of the Mahabharata fame are seen entering in your mouth without any, uh, without stopping at all. And what are you doing? You are gulping down the people and then bite by bite. And not only that, your tongue seem, your tongues are made of fire. And just like we lick something sticky like honey, lollipop, etc., you have to lick. And so, and whoever has uh, escaped your mouth, you're licking them with the tongues of fire and taking them in. <laughs> Intensive and frequentative. So, it's not just one time. It's not, you know, it's not one time licking, it's, it's many, many times, repeatedly siphoning, 
and were so lelihya se grasamana uh, repeatedly licking again and again uh, and and uh, uh, what the what samantat lokat so samantat lokan so the, the entire universe you keep filling up the whole universe uh, with uh, with your mouth you know the whole universe is filling up your mouth and what is that grasamana a small little bite for you and then uh, plus the, the, there is a whole inferno the, the whole world is tejo bhi bihi apurya jagat samagram the 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 whole world is lit up with your brilliance which is uh, uh, which is jwalanair vadanaihi jwalat bihi as a result of your flaming faces and then bhasah tava ugraha pratapanti uh, and your flames are burning the people cannot stand tapanti burn pratapanti prakarshena tapanti and then what then he says who are you akhya <laughs> hime tell me who you are i don't know who you are i can't handle this bhavan akhya hime ko who are you ko bhavan who 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 on earth are you this ugra roopa this terrible terrifying form namaha te uh, again and again namaha for you deva vara the the devas of all devas the most exalted of all devas please be happy with me vignato michami we should give some uh, uh, points <laughs> to arjuna here why <laughs> because despite of his not knowing whether it was day or night despite of his not being able to gather uh, courage he is able to ask this terrifying form <laughs> who are you <laughs> we have to give him some points here for he is able to gather back the back himself and he says i want to know vigyatum ichami bhavantam adyam and who who sake tell me who for why have you taken this terrible form and then proceed be glad be happy with me uh, um, uh, so then uh, nahi prajanami tava pravrittim pravritti here means actions your behavior your conduct you are sometimes licking off the whole universe with your uh, uh, fiery tongues and then sometimes uh, masticating people with your jaws this is not the krishna i know this is not the person with whom i cli- climbed mango trees off of other people's uh compounds and stole the mangoes this is not the krishna with whom i ate with whom um, i joked this is not krishna the uncle this is not krishna my mentor who from chapters 2 to 11 has been teaching me 2 to 10 we'll leave this one out because this one is weird so 2 to 10 has been teaching me this is not the krishna i know maybe this is an imposter <laughs> some kind of a what is that the first example of a sci-fi horror thriller and maybe it has this this being has replaced Christ, krishna and has just taken over who are you <laughs> tell me for my sake akhya hi me tell me who you are and whose whose brilliance is just covering everything and who is of this terrible terrible form now krishna does as he is told and answers what does he say shri bhagavan uvacha shri bhagavan uvacha kalosmi loka kshaya pravriddha kalosmi loka kshaya pravriddha kalosmi loka kshaya pravriddha kshaya krit pravriddha लोकान समाहर्तुमिह प्रवृत्तः लोकान समाहर्तुमिह प्रवृत्तः रिते पित्वां न भविष्यन्ति सर्वे रिते पित्वां न भविष्यन्ति सर्वे ये वस्थिता प्रत्यनीकेषु योद्धाः तस्मात्मुत्तिष्ठयशोलभस्व 
जित्वा शत्रुन भुक्ष्व राज्यम समृद्धम मयते निहिता पूर्वमेव भव सव्यसाचिन द्रोणंच भीष्मंच जयद्रथंच कर्णं तथान्यानपी योद्धवीर अर्जुना टू फाइट here also is no exception do your duty fight <laughs> already we are in the 11th chapter and you are still sitting here in the chariot get up go fight <laughs> he doesn't lose a opportunity and this way he assures him i'm not some kind of a robot uh, sent by some uh, terrible alternative universe i am the krishna you know and love and you ask for this form so so he reminds him of old uh, bygone conversations from the and even this uh, pratyanikeshu yodhaha what had had been repeated earlier that 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 phrase which was repeated in the one of the previous chapters he purposely brings it why to make him feel comfortable because obviously uh, arjuna if he had if his skin had a zipper he would have climbed out of his skin he was so frightened <laughs> he would have jumped out of his skin the only thing that helped him was that the zipper was not functioning properly he tried a couple of times he had to stay in the skin okay and so <laughs> so then what happened so finally bhagwan spoke, spoke who am i kal hasmi i am time i am tai loka kshaya kalah asmi loka kshaya krit so the karta the doer of loka kshaya meaning kshaya means what the destroyer kshaya means the one who decreases so the decreaser of population i am the one <laughs> i am the one who is the destroyer of people who decreases all the populations and then what लोकान समाहर्तुम एंड एंड आई एम रेडी टू टेक टेक बैक द पीपल हूज वर्क हियर इज डन वाई इज इट डन आई से सो बिकॉज द अदर्स अराउंड दम हैव सफर्ड एनफ एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू संभवामी वेन युगे युगे संभवामी हाउ यू नो बाय माया बिकॉज ऑफ माय माया कीपिंग माया रिजॉर्टिंग टू माई शक्ति माया शक्ति संभवामी युगे युगे वै संभवामी वै विल आई संभवामी परित्राणाय दुष्कृता साधोना ओके विनाशाय दुष्कृता सो संभवामी पुनः पुनः युगे युगे सो हियर ही सेज आई एम जस्ट डूइंग वॉट आई टोल्ड यू बैक इन चैप्टर फोर in avatara vada when i told you uh, that i was an avatara when i told you that this is what i am when i told you the purpose of my birth when i told you all this i am just fulfilling what i said i would do and i am showing you also a glimpse of the future that is yet to be so that you have no more doubts about this war there are no my people there are no their people and there are no uh, there, there should be no nothing on your part which says how can they kill these people this is how we started urula hatva imahanuga this is how we started wailing so how can i kill drona guru how to do this and lord krishna says 
you are what? You are just something that I can just flick with one finger. <laughs> you know, just when you, when you see something there, a small little, what is that? G-N-A-T, gnat, the fruit fly, just say there. And you don't really want to kill it. Chalo, chhod diya. You just flick it because you don't want it on the surface. You just gently flick it. So, Arjuna, I can just flick you. I don't need you for this war. Don't think that you are the karta. I am the loka kshaya krit. I am the one who is, who is doing this, not you. Rite pitvam, without you. Rita means without. Rite apitvam, even without you, all these dhartarashtras, these bhishma, drona, etc. Look, they are effortlessly going into my mouths into these infernos, what are you doing? Are you pushing them in? No, you are just standing there, knock, knocking your knees together. You are not doing anything. <laughs> Even without you, they are meeting their end. This should show you that you are not the doer, Arjuna. You are not the agent of this war. You are simply what? Nimitta. Nimitta means literally here, an instrument, an excuse. You are a nimitta. You are just happening to be in this karmic uh, jala because of your own karma. You are in this place of having to do this, this particular job and you are going to do this job. That's all you have to do. You just have to follow the script. Script is here, I have told you the lines. And now you cannot say, I forgot the lines. You, the lines are right in front of you and you have already seen the future. Why are you worried now? Why all the tension? Why the fear? And so that is what he says, I am Kala. I am just time that gives just dessert to the, uh, uh, to the people. And then, Rite Pitvam na Bhavishyanti Sarve. Even without you, these people will not be there. Ye Avasthita, this is again a, a, a sentence which has come before. Ye avasthita pratyanikeshu yodhaha. These people who have assembled in Kurukshetra, they, these opposing armies will stop existing as you have seen. Tasmat what? Tvam uttishtha. Get up for heaven's sake. Yashol abhasva. Fight this war. You don't have to fight. I am fighting. But then you can get yashas. You can get the fame. Yashol abhasva. By just doing your duty, you can get the fame. And then what? Jitva Shatrun. And everybody will say, Oh, he conquered the enemies. Bhukshva Rajyam Samriddham. Uh, enjoy an unparalleled and prosperous kingdom. Then, Maya Eva Ete Nihitaha Purva Meva. Purva Meva, before itself, Maya Eva, by me alone Nihitaha. Nihataha. Uh, uh, Nihataha means properly killed off. They, these people uh, that you are afraid to fight have already been met their end because of me. Therefore what? Nimitta matram bhava. Nimitta matram bhava. Just be an excuse. Just be a, an instrument. And this is the only time Arjuna is addressed like this. He savya sachin. Savya sachin means he could fire off the arrow with the left hand and he could fire off the arrow with what? The right hand also. So, usually people have one dominant hand. So, if the left hand is stronger, with the left hand you can do, right hand is as good as nothing. And if your dominant hand is the right hand, the left hand is not much use. But here Arjuna was ambidextrous. That means what? Double dose of kartritvam. <laughs> ah, that is the that is the gudha visandhi. That is the hidden meaning here. He savya sachin, you who are proud of yourself that you can fire off arrows with both the hands with equal ease. You know what? This is uh, this is what this is not happening at all because I have done this. Maya eva ete raja these kings and these Dharoda, all these people that you are crying about, all of them have been killed off by me, not you. You just have to pretend. You just, you are in a play. So you have a play bow and a play arrow 
and you just go there and go like this. That's all. <laughs> you just go like this. That's all you know because I've already I've already done the job. You are just wielding the ayudha. You are just an instrument, just like the bow is an instrument for you. You are an instrument for the flow of this Ishvara in the form of me. One more verse is there, which the Lord says, and then suddenly Sanjaya pops up, and this concludes the second phase of Arjuna's what? Reactions, which is what? Sheer and pure terror. And then he then uh, becomes a devotee. He, circ he circumambulates the Lord and then does namaskara many times and asks sorry, 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 sorry. Many, many sorries we will see uh, tomorrow. And then after that, the last, uh, so that is till verse 45, 46 to 55, it is an entreaty for the Lord to become, uh, become normal again. What is normal? Yes. So, please come back to your original form that I am comfortable with and then make me happy. So, that is the last portion of this and then we will finish, probably finish this uh, when tomorrow. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachyate Purnasya Purnamadarya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om I need a volunteer